But uh, hey, let's take a look at some random Dreamcast hardware. How's that sound? Although Jubble actually posted a useful tip, there's a shop you can buy the batteries that VMUs take for like 18 cents each. Um, and they're, if you buy them in bulk, you can get them cheaper, so you could buy like a um, hundred of them at once. If you're that serious about keeping your VMUs alive. Yeah. You're going for a whole two years. Look and at that. Because who doesn't like games. Chow Adventure and Chow Adventure 2? Oh, we There's need to load Chow Adventure on these things before we close out. And I don't Ooh. know when we're going to close out. We're just going to go for as long as we care for. And look at that, a, a GBA sitting right there in the background. Yep. Three of them. Several of them. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. That, that, that VMU oh. being held at that angle and by now me just then reminded me of the um of that video with uh, the, the the Dreamcast and the VMU mocking the PS2. Ah uh, yes. What a disappointment. <laughs> hey, a Dreamcast mouse. <laughs> yep. Yay. To complement my Quake Three action, I would also would make use of this Dreamcast mouse. Uh. That. It supports Quake 3 Arena. It says so here in the box. It also has the right color Dreamcast swirl. Exactly. Unlike <laughs> you guys. <laughs> yeah, we have British people here. Oh no, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. No, I'm looking on the mouse. It's actually blue. What? Yeah, there should be gray. Actually, this guy here. Yeah, this guy is going to be t super gray. And what's worse, or better, so to speak. It's using a roller ball, which people probably no, haven't been just... using in years. Oh, uh, you have to clean that out from all the hairs and everything. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Those Ooh, were fun. Mice. Oh, awesome. Those were good old days. You had to take out the ball and you had to clean out the rolls with all the nastiness on there. Of course, the biggest problem with ball mice was that, especially in a school, if um, you had a very hard time finding a uh, mouse that actually had a ball in it, and yeah, the ones that did because they glued yeah. it. If they if they, if they glued it shut, that meant that the mouse just got worse over time because you couldn't clean the bloody bunk out. <laughs> exactly, man. I had that happen in my high school. That was so bad. <laughs> We're all showing our age. Damn it. <laughs> yep. But uh, oddly I enough, I'm gonna start talking about five five twenty five inch floppies. Yeah. Oddly enough, the middle but the middle mouse wheel here doesn't act as a button it's mapped over here instead so it's a whoop dead mouse it's also a three button mouse all those hairs yep but with that we're going to look at a game that doesn't make use of it but it's definitely a dreamcast game that i got fairly late and i really like it look at this guy right here the best version of rayman 2 ah oh, yes and it's also the best looking, even better than on PC. And it has a exclusive four-player multiplayer mode. But for whatever reason, uh, you know, I don't have enough people to play that, so I guess we can't really look at that. And that was a part of DLC that you had to get from the online site in order to be able to play it. Or you could just put in a button code and get it to work that way if you wanted to. But what the heck, let's go ahead and start this up. Of course, I must stay to the outsteps here that um, as um, a Briton, I obviously have an obligation to um, be annoyed by Rayman because France. Ah, uh, that's right. <laughs> Freaking Ubisoft. Yeah. Or UB. I don't know. They, keep designed, they change their name every now and then. They go, no, it's pronounced this way. It's no. because they're French and they're being difficult. <laughs> Dang. So I'm going to go with Ubisoft because that's the way you'd probably say it in France. Because there's no U. This thing's complaining that there's not enough space on the VMU because it wants to save settings. And you know what? You can just change them like this. You don't Here's have enough memory in the memory card. And I really you don't. You don't have enough memory in the memory card. Hmm. <laughs> Here's a friendly reminder that this is what Rayman used to be like before Origins and Legends. Yeah. I kind of miss this. Well, like a cheap knockoff of Crash Bandicoot. Yes. Oh, I wouldn't call it. Which itself is a cheap knockoff of every other 3D platformer. <laughs> I would argue it's more of the melodrama that kind of comes with it. Let's see if we can find Yeah, there we are. I think this is what I want. 
because there's a bunch of like knockoff levels that are like that deviate far away from the normal gameplay. And, uh, let's see, this is after Whale Bay, so we're not going to be doing a whole lot of uh, swimming, luckily. I just remember getting this on the DS because we all thought it was going to be pretty good, and the DS version was terrible. The DS version's bad, and the 3DS version, which is a port of the Dreamcast version, is somehow worse. So much so, of, like, you can't even... You kind of can't finish the game properly. <laughs> like, so there's, like, a thousand lums they have to find, and Razorbeard eats one of them. But if you go to one of the levels, you can find that, uh, that thousandth lum. And when you find it, you're supposed to transition out of the level, but in the 3DS version, it soft locks the game. Yeah, because you're not supposed to be able to do that. No, no, no. That's normally what you're supposed to do. You go through, find the thousandth lum, and then you end the level in a specific transition. But nope. In the 3DS version, they screwed up Royal. <laughs> Luckily, you can still pause the game and then quit out, and then it'll save that lum. So it's not unwinnable. It's just really bad. Good job, France, or Montreal, whichever. And I friggin' love me some Rayman 2, and I will arm wrestle anybody that says otherwise. Let's go, Overlord. I know you don't like it. <laughs> it's a very simple game. All you do is and unlike in Rayman 1, where you shoot your fists, you shoot energy balls, and you, Rayman never does this again for whatever reason. Ah, but Jason, we want Sonic Adventure 3! Ah, that's true. I'm still waiting so on Rayman 4. <laughs> that was a thing, then it wasn't a thing, and then Rayman Origins happened. Yeah. Because I remember people were, like, getting pissed that... Rayman spun off into the Rapids, and the Rapids became more popular than Rayman. Yeah. And now they have their own bloody show. Luckily for Rayman, like, Rayman Origins definitely made a huge turnaround for the series. I mean, it sold well in the past, but I would probably argue it's doing better than it used to. I want David Gunterman 3. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Man, only... why would you even want one David Gunterman? <laughs> also, weird oddity about the Dreamcast version. If you want to turn the camera left and right, it's X and Y on the controller. Why would you do that? Uh, well, what the, not what really the heck are the other... What the you... heck are the bumpers then, or the triggers? Well, you have the L trigger to lock on. So that's okay. what, where that's at. L trigger. Our trigger is to do toggle the display here. And the D-pad, if you hold up, then you can read on Rayman lore if you really care to do so. You no, know, the only place that lore should matter is an RPG, yep. not in a platformer. Well, I don't know. I kind of like the fact that there's not... some... Con well... I kind of like the fact that there's some continuity in Rayman, but they kind of ditch that after Rayman 2, so it doesn't really matter. Man, look at all these extra effects. Look at the lighting. Oh, Dreamcast. 60 frames. I hope it's working on the stream that way anyway. It kind of is. It looks smoother anyway. Hopefully it's not jerky. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Well, it's about as good as it's going to get for Twitch, even though you're streaming from Source. Yeah. And because while, Twitch is a big dumb. Yeah. And while, you know... Well, at least, they, at least they're moving away from Flash now, so that's that a is big good. positive. Something. Yeah, that's something. The less Flash we have to deal with, the better. Indeed. And normally there'd be a boss here, but it's already dead. So, imagine that there's something huge shooting at me. But it's got a free rockin' soundtrack. Like, um, like one of the developer's egos, because he's French. Womp womp. David Gonterman. <laughs> <laughs> of 
Well, we can't afford high resolution 3D rendering. Because we're just afraid to do so. It's a big step. Getting Why did I time. somehow see the phrase Gontaman Unleashed in the chat? <laughs> I some I somehow read that from it. I thought I actually think I saw that here too. Does he turn into Ken Penders? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm still waiting for Ken Penders to write the next Hatsune Miku comic book uh, novelization. Oh man. It's just a misunderstood race of Vocaloids. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all, they, they all look the same as Miku, but they have ever so slightly different colored hair. Yes! <laughs> oh, like the, come on, you gotta metallic, make this happen. Metallic limbs and joints. Oh, and he has a charge move. Oh. So apparently Rayman 2 was originally going to be like a 2D platformer. And, uh... I was actually looking up some stuff on, like, Rayman wiki sites, and apparently... They were inspired by Crash Bandicoot. Point for Overlord. To the point that, <laughs> hey, maybe we should uh, move on to 3D, and they scrap the 2D project in favor of this game. And here I was going to say that they went 2D be or 3D because Sony forced them to, because that was a thing at the time. That was a thing at the time, but I mean, Rayman 1, a 2D platformer, came out on PlayStation. So who knows? Like they have, they have the most bizarre uh, requirements. So much probably so had some agree. 3D element in it at some point because they just wanted to show off 3D, or they didn't care. And apparently, even during like the PlayStation 2 era, they were pretty strict to the point of like, hey, we don't want bad-looking 3D games on our platform. And working designs when they were trying to put out some game, I don't they didn't want they didn't want bad-looking 3D games on the PS1. Oh yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> but I mean, like, like, saying... I mean, like, uh, it, it continued to the PS2, where like they were trying to working designs was trying to get some game out for the PS2, and the guy who was running it, um, Victor Ireland, basically tra pointed out to them, "Hey, you already let out a really shitty looking game. That's Cat in the Hat." And while he was right, the he still kind of lost that battle, unfortunately. Uh, what game that was, I don't remember off the top of my head, but. Sony's a weird beast. Here's an example of weird gameplay alterations where you have to shoot the opposite of direction the opposite direction of which you want to go just to move Rayman around on lava. Because obviously all fruit stays all um, in one piece as you bounce along in lava. This is true in the land of France. With your momentum physics. Uh oh. I forgot where to go. <laughs> I'm so used to collecting everything in this game to the point of like I don't remember the some of the alternate paths you can take. Like here. No, Jason, it's it's just a special thing with France because basically Britain has fought wars on and off with France for about 800 years. Yeah. That's like matching the Scots with the Irish. You just they just don't mix.
English Knickets. <laughs> Hey, I see David the Lurker just came online. Maybe he'll want to recite some Gontraman Unleashed. <laughs> I've, re I've got, to, we've got to mention that to him. Alright. I think it's kind of weird. I don't know. I just really like Rayman 2. And it's not really going to seem all that obvious, but... <laughs> Jason doesn't want David Gotchman action going on. <laughs> but. Rayman just has a slightly different take on. At least Rayman 2 has a different take on, like, how they tell, how they tell their story. And just how they try to symbolize power of, you know, in the player character themselves. Of, like, you know, how he's supposed to grow and learn as he moves along in the adventure and things like that. Like, if I were to die, I'd probably get, like, a message from uh, one of the characters that gives you moves. Of, like, hey, you shouldn't, don't give up, because, you know, the, even the main villains... Never stay. give up, never surrender. Exactly. <laughs> Like in Mario, if you died, he just goes, Mamma mia. So, how many bounces do you get on this eggplant? Uh, it's, it's about as many legs as it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Ah. Uh, over 9,000 then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, this thing can bounce indefinitely on lava. Like, I'm just wondering why you're occasionally hopping off it, that's all. Oh. Well, sometimes you have to jump off just to get collectibles and things like that. Oh god. Really so when did when did you when did he um, enter the like the hentai dimension? Tentacles everywhere. Oh man. You don't want to know about the sexual preferences of the French. <laughs> nah, you really don't. Canadian French the well, Canadian French people are kind of different. Especially considering. Yeah, they're, they're far more polite about it. Oh. I just lost my gold fist. Yes, racism. Halfway racism. At least there's two different sides, like, uh. I don't know. It's like putting CNN and Fox in, two, in the same spot. Not that that makes any sense to anybody who's not American. Actually, I don't think Democrats or Republicans are a thing in Europe, are they? Um. Not really to that sort of thing. It's bearing in mind the liberal Democrats here um, are. It's they're kind of like a centrist, I suppose. The, the, I would say it's the closest be the libertarians, except the libertarians seem to be more right wing than anything else. Uh. Bearing in mind the USA doesn't have any left parties. Hey, guess what? We're gonna do that whole sequence again. <laughs> Oops. Because there's a kill floor that's like right next to that ring you have to grab. And then after this, we what can... are the things you're collecting anyway? Those little blobs with wings. Oh, those are lums. Um, and lums are what make up the. It's basically the fabric of the universe, more Rayman uh. lore if you really care. I'd be lying if I said I really cared. <laughs> <laughs> but only because it's Rayman. I, was, I think it's kind of impressive that for a game that looks like this, they make a lot of heavy use out of 2D objects. 
Like this plum here is basically just a 3D texture over this 2D object. And this thing I'm holding onto is just a 2D texture too. It's kind of like, um, I suppose the, the obvious ones that were screened to mind would be um, Sonic Extreme, maybe Duke Nukem 3D. Yeah, it's pretty close to that. I mean, it's it, they were... Rayman 2 started development around, uh, close to around the time of, like, Duke 3D and stuff like that. But with the power of the Sega Dreamcast, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Sega Dreamcast. Yeah, I just looked at a, one of the clips that uh, Sega Bits posted on that South Park episode. <laughs> Come on, Kenny, don't you want a Sega Dreamcast? I actually have both Dreamcast South Park games, but neither of them work in VGA mode, so we can't really look at them without doing a little uh, jiggery. Well, we can look at them, it's just not going to look very good on the stream. And people are going to argue that those games are trash, and uh, they're not yeah. terrible. Now, at the end of the day, it's more important to note that the Dreamcast is better than the Okama Game Sphere. Yeah. Still amuses me that they did actually censor that. Actually, One can only assume that Nintendo basically said, do it and we sue you or something. Which is weird, because they were wholly behind the whole Wii one. Which is re yeah, That is so weird. Especially... I think lawyers just became a little more trigger-happy in recent time. To the point of, like... You just can't, like, you can't even say, like, Simpsons doesn't say Nintendo Wii, they say Funtendo Z, despite the fact that they've mentioned Nintendo by brand name before. The Chintendo V, then. Yeah. The Smash It Steve, if you will. <laughs> have it pop on this brighter lava because video games. It's just hotter lava. Shouting lava, 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 and maybe one other person will get this joke in the actual stream chat. Yeah. I don't think either of you two will. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but this way you'd have to be British to have the chance of getting it. Or if you're a cat. Um, no, I don't think she'd know either. Oh, wow. I mean, she's slacking. Oh, no! Well, oh, it's basically right. you have to have some familiarity with British um, garage bands from the, uh, the mid-1990s. Oh, fair enough. Oh. Yeah, for asking if uh, Bart eats Butterfinger still. Actually, he doesn't. In fact, um when The Simpsons made a joke of, like, how Butterfingers were indestructible, Chief Wiggum basically said, huh, even the fire doesn't want him. Like, that was so... Like, that actually got Butterfingers pretty mad, and they basically cut ties with The Simpsons at that point. So, <laughs> Bart no longer eats Butterfingers because the writers admitted that Butterfingers kind of suck. So in other do. words, you can lay you can lay as many um, fingers as you like on his butter finger. Whoa! All right, coming close to the end of this level, and uh, I think would be good enough time to switch to another to another game. Rated PG thirteen. <laughs> Wow. It's like a more retarded looking version of the um, Temple Guardian from Sound of Polish. Hey, what do you want? They had to get this game working on the N64, alright? Wow! I 
I've missed out on a lot of uh, some of the bigger Dreamcast games, especially launch games, so... I never played Soul Calibur, but I have it now, because that game went down in price considerably. Oh, my Dreamcast collection is terrible. Really? Mm-hmm. Why would you do to it? I think it... Um, well, it's just near non-existent. Oh. I still have sealed games from when I bought the system in, like, 2002 that constantly torments Nick. Uh. Virtua Fighter 3 Team Battle, Metropolis Street Racer, and I think the other one is Jet Set Radio. Yeah, that's another game i got to look at before the night end. We've been going for about a... probably a couple of hours now, but... I'll yeah, it has been it. two hours. Yeah, but... Keep going. I'll call it a night um, at the uh, the top of the hour on this one, because then it'll be 2 a.m. and I'm working tomorrow morning. Oh, fair enough. I really don't like playing this mini game because it takes too long. And if I were to hit start here before it gave me these power ups, I wouldn't get them, and it would start the whole thing over. It's so dumb. Alright, let's go ahead and do it in for Rayman and move on. Why did I read the Isle of Doors as the Isle of Boobs? I think this is just a horrible font. I, I like the font. No, it, it's your <coughs> eyes, man. It's just perfect. <laughs> Alright, Rayman 2. In stores now. Hear that, hear that thing spin down.